when you can stay with the breath, the mind has a good solid place to stay, and it's got its protection. Because we live in a world where there's a lot of, a lot of unpleasant things happening. Painful feelings in the body, pain coming from words that people say outside. We need to learn how to endure those things, and not just grit our teeth and bear with them, but to have a sense that the mind isn't really touched by them. You see them and they just go past, go past, go past, and you realize, okay, if you suck them into the mind, it's like sucking in poison. So you have to learn how to have a sense of being well fed from within, so you're not out looking for things to slurp up from outside. So feed on the breath, feed on the sense of well-being that comes when the breath is comfortable, when it feels refreshing, when it feels nourishing inside. You don't just wait for that to happen. You can induce it. You can think about the breath getting longer, shorter, deeper, more shallow, broader, more narrow, more coarse, more refined. You can play with the breath and find something that feels good for the body right now. It's like going into the kitchen and fixing different kinds of food and adjusting the salt, adjusting the sugar, adjusting the different tastes. So you've got just the taste you want, which is just right for your hunger. That way, when you're nourished with a breath like this, okay, things happen from outside. People say things, and it just stops right at your ear. It doesn't come into the mind. There are pains in the body. Well, they stay just in the body. They don't come seeping into your mind. They don't come seeping into your sense of possession. They're there, and then they go. And that's it. When the mind can have this sort of freedom, it can live in any situation and doesn't have to suffer. So try to strengthen the mind with this concentration, and from the concentration you develop the discernment where you can separate your things, separate these things from you. As the Buddha said, it's when we see things as something separate, that's when we're free from them. A thought comes in the mind, and it's not your thought, it's just a thought. A feeling arises in the body, and it's just a feeling, not your feeling. People say words, and okay, the words are theirs. You don't pull them in and make them part of your inner conversation. Now, to do this, it requires not only the discernment to separate these things, but to gain that discernment requires the sense of well-being that comes from being with the breath and being well-centered inside. So this is an important skill. It's one of the most important skills that you can learn, how to separate yourself out from suffering. And the first step is to feed yourself well with the breath. As the Buddha said, we can know the drawbacks of things outside that we ordinarily latch on to. But if you don't have a sense of well-being inside that comes from good concentration, we keep going back to those things, even though we know better. So get the mind nourished with the breath. Get your sense of well-being, well, well fed. And you don't have to go feeding on the garbage that goes sloshing around outside. <laughs>